Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo and we are back with our saltwater crocodiles in creative grassland. How are you? I hope you're all well. In this episode, um, I think we're going to have to do a little bit of animal maintenance. Just double check on them, but I also want to try and put in a hippo habitat, so we'll see how far we get. All of our animals have started to either pass away or grow up. So I think we need to just double check, make sure that what's actually happening. So, um, oh, and our otters had some babies and they are here. So they're really tiny. I don't know if you can see, let's just, just zoom in. Look, they're really tiny. Look at them. They're really cute. They can barely look over the water, look. <laughs> so they're really sweet. I think we've got two of those. Um, let's have a look so yeah we've got one boy and one girl so they are a lovely addition to the zoo um we did see that our clouded leopards are just about to mature and i did have a notification just as i turned it the game on that yes another west african lion has matured so we have a another one here yes so i think we're gonna have to put this one in our trade center because they are going to cause some problems in a second um so let's put them in the trade center yeah see look they're just about to start an argument so that's fine so our west african lions are now the original four now Let's have a look at those. We have one here as well. And this one here we also have. We also have this one here. So we have so many West African lions. Now, you let me know what you think we should do. Should we do another West African lion habitat for our white male lion to go in? Or do we put them just on the trade center for anybody else to use? You guys let me know. Uh, we also had our Bengal tigers age up. So we had to put them in the trade center. Jaguars we already did. Uh, we had a southern cassowary grow up. And I think that is it for now. So we've got lots and we're going to have the clouded leopards starting as well. They all either, this is the problem with some of the animals is because they have cubs or multiple babies, multiple births, look, yeah, now we've got the African buffalo dying. Um, they either all age up at the same time and or either die all at the same time. Oh yeah, sable antelope, okay, so we've just had one of those. We do need to sort out our exhibit, so that's fine. Um, cheetahs. Southern cassowaries, okay. Yep, you're fine in our there's tape uh taper. Got a grown up kangaroo. Again, I'm not fussed about the grown up kangaroos because their habitat is really quite big and they're all on contraception as well. Yes, okay, so powdered lepers, let's take them off and let's put them in the trade center, both of those in the trade center. And the mum is about to die of old age in the African buffalo and look they are all together as a family how adorable was that and I really hope she dies peacefully and she's oh it's so sad so let's just have a look at these guys because the mum okay so the dad is okay mum's about to... oh my god that is really sad oh god Okay. Does that say three animals have died? Oh my gosh, I really, I was like, what has happened to this zoo? Dangerous fighting in the crowd leopard. Let's see, this is what happens, everybody. Suddenly, you're good, you're plodding along in your zoo, doing absolutely fine, and then all hell breaks, breaks loose. You've got animals passing away, you've got animals growing up, animals fighting. Oh, see, this is what happens. You really do need to stay on top of everything. So, clouded leopards, that was it, wasn't it? They've just matured. Let's put you in the trade center. Perfect, they should be fine. Let's unpause. 
Now, let's have a look at the African buffaloes. Okay, so we've got, we ha only have, oh no, we have two mums left. Okay, that's fine. Two mums left. That's fine, that's, that's enough. Um, they are all elderly though. So there will become a time when we need a couple of new mums. And our, our, our forks are elderly. That's sad. So we could carry on with our little aardvark that is currently in the trade center at the moment because they had a baby. So do we make this our next animal or ne our next mum? So maybe let's put two replace mum. Maybe that could be our new ma little matriarch in the aardvark section and then all we need to do is another get another dad do we try and keep as many animals as we can from the first generation and then they carry on or do we just get all new animals please do let me know what you want to do because this is your zoo as well as mine we are creating it together so please do let me know do you think once all the animals pass away we start fresh or do we use the babies that we have currently got so our Asian small grilled otters, they are all fine. I love how the baby is called um. Wasn't there another um baby up here? Yeah, our little African buffalo. So we've got two baby ums, which is really cute. Um, tapir, okay, so we have a mum, elderly mum. Oh, so in, in the anteater, sorry. So we have an elderly mum anteater. So we haven't got any female anteaters. So we probably will need to get a new mum. But you do have to bear in mind that they are related. So you're going to need to either keep one male or one female. Otherwise, you're going to start inbreeding. And you really don't want that. Um, okay. We have one mum and one dad in the black wildebeest. And we also have one grown up baby or one grown-up child that's fine we'll take a look at the um exhibits in a minute let me just pause and just make sure oh the wildebeest is gonna have a baby okay just make sure nothing the zoo isn't burning down whilst we're trying to sort out our animals um yes the baby cheetahs they're fine we did have a little look at them in the last episode our clouded leopards are back down to the mum and the dad, but they are okay. Ostriches, perfectly fine. We don't mind them being grown up in the 4x4 ride because they don't fight over territory. Plus, they've got a big enough habitat. Now, common warthog. I think these guys are fine for space. Yes, perfectly fine for space. They've got a big enough habitat. Um, so we are not too worried about them either so we do have quite a lot of babies in here but our mum and dad are fine also that is perfect um terrapins we'll take a look at blue tongue lizard we'll take a look at and eaters yeah we've already discussed that um so again we could just get a new mum the jaguars we have three babies two one mum one dad and they are both perfectly fine for age plus three in the trade center that um didn't we didn't end up selling on the trade center so maybe we could put those back on llamas how are we doing for llamas oh okay so llamas don't have much space so this one little llama may need to go to the trade center um yes okay so that's fine let's move to the trade center sorry little llama do they like this many people in their habitat there, there isn't anything wrong with them i don't think nobody says anything but i'm just worried i don't know something's telling me that i need to check yeah see now they only like one male and up to four females let's pause the game again Oh no, too many adults. Let's get rid of the babies then. Okay, that's fine. We will now also go back and check all the other animals. See, this is what this is what you have to do, everybody. Let's get rid of the trade center and the exhibit animals so we're not scrolling endlessly for all our little animals. Our warthogs as well then. Because I have a feeling that these guys... Oh no, they're fine, okay. They're fine, anteaters, okay. 
few files we know are fine. Everybody else is okay. It was just the Babarusas. Oh, our zebra is having a baby, everybody. When are they having a baby? August 56. Okay, we've got a few, a few more years. Social group, two for your adults and two for junior adults. Oh, okay. Right, I think we'll get some more zebras then. Let me just write that down. Zebras times one male, one female. Giraffe, let's see if these guys are also okay. Yeah, they are absolutely fine as well. So we have a adult baby, an adult baby, all right, a young adult. Um, that is on contraception. And we also have a pregnant giraffe that I have named Dad. Or I used, I put a D. Okay, that's their animals done. Let's check out the exhibits. So let's go to, let's turn off the habitat. Let's put on the exhibits. So we have our boa constrictor. It was really not very happy at all. Let's get rid of those ones. So for the babies, our terrapins have, do have quite a lot in there at the moment for a little tank. A tank? Would you say it's a tank? I don't know. Exhibit? It's an exhibit, but would you say it's an exhibit tank? Keep the adopted ones for our scorpion. Oh, they had a lot of girls, didn't they? Gosh, they had all girls. What are the chances? And we have... Oh, no! We need to get a, um, another green iguana. A male green iguana. Okay. Male green iguana. I'm just making notes. Um, it's always good to have a pen and paper around when you're playing this game. Another top tip. Keep pen and paper around because you do start to lose track of animals and what you need and my memory isn't fantastic so quick trade look ten thousand dollars we are getting for our exhibit animals so let's push play and they can all disappear but on the trade center now we have all of these animals to sell so let's trade i'm just going to go through and trade all these animals just bear with me okay so what i have done i've gone through all of the animals that we had in our current trade center and gone through and uploaded them to the trade center for the other players to see and to use. So um, what I suddenly realized is, I don't know if anybody's ever seen me do this. So what you can do is you just go in to your animal storage area in the animal trading section, you click on animal storage, then you, you go up and you tick and you have a little look and see, right, okay, how much conservation credits could I get for this animal? So let's take Michelle, for example, our Jaguar that we had in the first few episodes. Now, Michelle has a gold award. So she is very, if, if an animal has a gold award, they're going to draw in a lot more guests. For example, this one here, a common ostrich, has a bronze award. So they're not necessarily going to draw in as much guests, but they will draw in more guests than, say, this animal here, which is a gems box. It has a gold award plus quite high genetics and breeding. So at the moment, the game has placed Michelle as trading for 817 credits. Now, if we release her into the wild, we get 511. And if we just quick trade, then we can get 10,000 or 10 and a half thousand dollars for Michelle. Well, let's have a look to see the conservation credits other Jaguars are going for. So we can go to the animal market and let's just click on all species to clear the filter. Then we are going to look for the Jaguar just here. So, gold ones is what we're looking at so for example this one is going for over five thousand conservation credits this one here again just over a thousand so and then you've also got some going for cash as well so it lasts for an hour the trade so you can really see how many how much they're going for with putting um our little jaguar michelle on for a thousand so i'm just going to trade that's on for, for 60 minutes for an hour 
and we'll see. So let's push play. Anyway, let's have a look and see where we should put our hippo. So I don't know, maybe maybe we'll do the Cayman next episode and we'll do the hippo today just for something a little bit different. Now, this is going to be all shops eventually, I think. We'll have the Cayman there. So do we put the hippo over here? I know it's kind of coming out of the wetland area that we had created. But it's quite a big space and there's no, nothing going to be necessarily in it. I mean, we can put the wetland or sorry, the wet area over here. Sign over here so people know. I think just think this is such a large open space and no one's kind of using it. So let's use this. Let's have a look. So one male, what, 29 females. Good God. Okay. Um, so dominant male will mate with all of his females. They're confident with humans. Okay, so that's great. Guests can have answer, get into the habitat. No. We only have one offspring per mating season. Okay. That's not too bad um vulnerable okay so our pause or so you can pause to read up on them and okay so oh no i don't know whether or not this area is going to be big enough then so we have one male and say two females and if one female has two babies they're going to need two thousand just over two thousand square meters plus a lot of water oh so is that Land requirement plus the water requirement. Oh God, I don't think this this space is, maybe it's not gonna be big enough. I forgot to buy the hippos, didn't I? So let's have a look and see, let's do the age. And maybe, that's not bad. I wanna try and buy these with cash if possible. So definitely that one. They're, they are on a little bit on the older side. Um, but it's okay, and let's take this one. Immunity's low, but they are young, so let's take this one. And now we need a male. Oh, okay, we're going to have to spend some credits, but it's not too bad. And we'll get this one here, because they are really quite young. Okay, so let's... We'll get those ones and we will put them in. Oh, we also have one of these. Did I already buy one? Or did I not buy them out? Or did, oh, oh no. I thought I did buy them out. Oh yeah, that did. Well, we're gonna have four females then. Jeez. Okay, let's put you in the quarantine area and let's get building this habitat.
everybody we have now finished the hippo habitat um i think there are okay um there isn't there isn't quite enough water in the habitat annoyingly um because i'm i may need to take a couple of hippos out because the habitat is huge uh, oh sorry guys <laughs> didn't need to zoom in on him taking a poo um anyway um because the habitat is huge and they're still saying there's only just enough but there's still not enough water so i may need to take a couple of hippos out and um we'll just have say two males uh, sorry one male and maybe three or two um females oh our llamas died okay we need a llama so maybe I will add that to our list that we need. Now, llama. Okay, and I will have a little look at those off screen. So anyway, yes, yeah, so this is the habitat. So they have um, some nice shaded area here. The, um, another little kind of pondy kind of area that they can get in and out of the water over here. The monorail has a nice view going around the habitat as well lots of toys lots of food they don't really like very many plants so we were a little bit kind of stuck to what we could actually do so we've just got a lot of grass in it um because they don't mind the grass but they they seem to be happy-ish we've got our um plants here floating so let's move these down like that and we've got some um space around here i will probably make this a little bit prettier when we do our speed build because uh, at the moment it's just it looks all right it's not it's not too bad and then the guests can come down here and they can have a really good view of the hippos um either let's get down to their kind of their head level let's get back up so they can yeah they can have a good view of them underneath the water what i did want originally the water was up to kind of eye level but the staff couldn't get through because the water was kind of up to here or sorry, the water was kind of overlapping this bit and the staff couldn't get through. So we had to lower the water level down, fortunately. Um, but I think the guests will still like it. How much money have we got at the moment? 590 in our donation boxes. So it's not it's not too bad. Um, I think in the speed build, I may come back and do a little bit more decorating in this in this area, perhaps. They, they seem all right. And plus the, um, the restaurant guests can have a nice view of the hippos like they can in the lions over the other side so i do hope you have enjoyed this episode and i will fix everything um in, probably in the speed build maybe take out some a couple of hippos but but let me know if you think maybe we could get away with not having enough water space for them then we'll keep this amount of hippos if you think no we should probably get rid of a couple then we can put them back in the trade center but yeah, so please give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. It does mean a lot. Just makes lets me know that you're enjoying the episodes and you think we should carry on with them. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.